have a group called Vigo, Vegan Education on the Go, and we do vegan outreach on, on the streets every, every Saturday from 1 to 6 here in West Northern Street. People need to change, you know, because uh, we have so much technology you now. Like we have gigantic tractors and gigantic ploughs and gi gigantic rotavirus to till the soil. So growing crops is so easy and like people can live so healthy on a vegan diet. So there's no need for, for animals to be suffering away and locked away in sheds. <coughs> I run this sanctuary with my partner Sharon and she's brilliant to, to, to help out and do all, loads of work on the sanctuary and like she, she knows all the animals. I was born there on a small little farm so as soon as I realised when me kept the middle when I was eight or nine years of age um, I wouldn't eat meat and uh, like, uh, I couldn't just bear to say to myself that you know what was in the dinner pot or what was on my plate that was a calf or a cow that I was going to go out and uh, be friends with, you know, I just couldn't bear to think that I was going to eat them. So um, and I couldn't look them in the eye and say, I'm after eating y your friend or your son or your daughter. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, the dogs <laughs> like them. What's his name? Spanish. Uh, I do this because uh, you know I love animals and deserve respect from people, and they shouldn't be treated like dirt the way they are at the moment. You know we need to open up our minds and see that animals are just entitled to live in the world as, as we are, and uh, like they don't ask to be in this world no more than we do. They're just born into the world and they're just here, and that's you know that's that's it. To, to share this wonderful or terrible plan, whichever way it is, all the animals were here long before mankind even you know evolved on the planet too. So it's their world as much as it is our world. Every day is kind of a happy day once I'm here with the animals. You know the kind of way. So, so many happy days with, on the sanctuary with them, you know. But of course we have sad days when, when some of them are very sick and they die and that's when you see them suffer, so. I hate when farmers or something say, like the cattle or, you know, they don't, they don't say them as individuals, the different animals on the farm or that, you know, or the sheep or something, or the flock, you know, like it's good to see animals as individuals the same as you see people as individuals. And uh, would there be any kind of like um, food shops, kind of like cooperatives and stuff like that? Food shops? Uh, food shops. Yeah, uh, there's a Dublin co-op. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm vegan for like nine months. Oh, great. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. want to like find new places to purchase yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Paying for humans and animals is the exact same. Like, like if you, you pinch your cat or your dog, they'll scream. So like, it's the very same for all species that live on Earth. We want to show people that animals suffer so much in farms all over the world and to encourage people to go vegan, to stop the suffering of the animals. It's horrendous what to go through. Oh, okay.